question, we've got two functions, f and g. f looks like a linear uh, function. It's got an a in it. It's got some unknown number. And g is a quadratic, again, with the same a in it. We're told that x can be any real number. And we're told that a is a constant. It says, find the range of g, that's all the y numbers g can take, in terms of a. Now, we've seen one like th this before in previous uh, videos. So we've got ourselves, I'm going to call it y is equal to x squared add 2ax add 2. We've got a quadratic. You want to draw the graph. The best way is to complete the square. So write this as y is equal to x add a, all squared, and then add 2. Uh, sorry, tiny mistake there. Take off the a squared and add the 2. And I might rewrite that as y is equal to x add a all squared and then I'd say plus 2 take away a squared. I think it's neater like that. Now this here, the number part here tells us, and this number part here tells us the vertex of the graph. And the vertex of the graph is going to be at negative a and 2 subtract a squared. Okay, so we know that the graph, however it looks, it's a, it's a positive quadratic, okay, so it's going to have its vertex at negative a and 2 subtract a squared. So clearly, what's the range? Well, the range is that the y numbers can take any value from infinity down to 2 subtract a squared back to infinity, so therefore f of x is going to be bigger than or equal to 2 subtract a squared. Okay, um, for the next part, we are told that g of f of 3 is equal to 7. Find the possible values of a. So we're going to work out g of f of 3. We're going to make it equal to 7. We're going to see what a is as a result of that. So let's firstly do f of 3 before we do anything. So f of 3 is when we put 3 into this function here. So it would be 1 subtract 3a. And now what we're going to do is work out g of f of 3. So we're going to put this here into the g function. So, where we see x, so we're going to have 1 subtract 3a, all squared, add 2a, multiplied by 1 subtract 3a, and then we're going to have add 2. Okay? So let's just tidy that up before I go any further. Let's expand this bracket. It would expand to 9a squared, subtract 6a, add 1. This would expand to add 2a, subtract 6a squared, add 2. Collect like terms, you've got 9a squared, take away 6a squared is 3a squared, so that's 3a squared. You've got yourself negative 6a, add a 2a, which is negative 4a. And you've got yourself 1, add 2 is 3, so add 3. So that's g of f of 3, and we're going to solve that equal to 7 to get our values of a. So we're going to say that 3a squared, subtract 4a, add 3 is therefore equal to 7. Take 7 off both sides. 3a squared, subtract 4a, subtract 4 is equal to 0. Attempt to factorise this. So we're looking to multiply to negative 4 and add to ne uh, negative 4a. So I think it's going to be a negative 2 and a positive 2. So therefore a is equal to 2 or a is equal to negative 2 thirds. Now let's just look up the question and see if there's any restrictions on A. It just said A was a constant. It didn't say it had to be anything. And it does ask for two possible values. And we've got ourselves two possible values. Namely, A is 2 and A is negative 2 thirds. So we're done. 